Good morning, loved ones. I hope you had a good night's sleep. I had a, a way too short night's sleep, but quite good for the for the moment that it lasted. I was reading uh, my friend's book yesterday, and it was amazing. I couldn't stop reading it. It's called um, "Is Everything I've Learned About Love a Lie?" Um, that's the Swedish, like it's straight translated. And um, and it's a journey, you know, from this kind of fairy tale, you know, that we're taught, you know, in 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 in, uh, in Disney and um, Hollywood, you know, what love should be like, the spark and you know that vibe and um, and how how um, kind of destructive that passion very often is. God knows, I've experienced it firsthand. <laughs> Not once, but a few times, <laughs> and uh, and the author is a, a dear friend of mine, and um, and um, you know I've been we've been like she's not a very close friend of mine, but she's a very dear friend of mine, and um, and we've known each other for like maybe twenty five years or so, and um, or no maybe like twenty years or so, 20, 25 years, <laughs> uh, but um, she um. I mean, it could have been my story. She's just been way more productive in her destructiveness than I ever was. Thanks God for me being sober now and finally getting to to be productive. Uh, I uh, I couldn't be more grateful for that. I also couldn't be more grateful for for the courage that I've had that um, helped me go through the twelve step program and meet my demons. Um, and she she talks about that a lot, you know, staying in the pain and and seeing the reality for what it is and not for what you want it to be, and this was a big thing for me. I made up realities, you know, and I made up air castles, uh, castles. I always say that wrong, um, and and I moved into them and I climbed, cling to them, you know, and and anyone who kind of threatened to reveal reality uh, was out, you know, from my life. And uh, and she describes that so beautifully, um, and I guess that's why we are so close, even though you know we don't see each other too often, because we do really understand that pain and and that part, you know, of um, you know being you know sense sensible in in every other aspect than uh, than. Um, than the love one or the you know the drinking or whatever it may be you know like and and in that sense you're like absolutely insane and and has have like zero sense whatsoever and 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 she also describes um the codependency part very very easily that you kind of think that someone else is gonna fix you uh you know the new boyfriend or the new job or you know whatever it may be but something from the outside and then when she realizes that the only person who can fix her is is herself and and I can relate to that so much I really wanted someone to come and save me from me and that's something that is impossible for anyone to do um the only one that that can save me from myself is me um and that is a beautiful insight to have but I think you have to it's easy to say but it's it's much harder to do and 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 be and um and give up on especially in the senses of your children and um you know to, to let them understand that the only person who can help them are themselves with guidance you know of course from from their parents and and everyone who loves them and and obviously as a parent you can do your very best to give them as few traumas as as few obstacles you know and and as strong confidence as as possible you know um but we can never give more than what we have and if we don't have it we can't give it that's it um however yeah i feel very grateful for the reading i also feel very grateful for this amazing you know women party that i attended with with such creative forces gathered in the same room and really supporting each other it was magic and i feel I feel honored and so grateful to have been a part of that. We're going to do yoga. Get down on your sitting bones and straighten up your back.
start taking control over your breath. On the inhalation, feel how your belly is expanding. And when we integrate, you know, the, the diaphragm into our breath, what we're telling the nervous system is that it can calm down. So, so imagine that your belly is like a balloon that we're now going to fill with air. Inhale. Exhale and drag your belly button towards the spine. We're going to do the breath of fire. We do it by pushing our belly button towards the spine. Quick and back. Inhale. Very good job. We're going to do the hip road. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Switch direction. Uh, come to the side and place your left foot towards your right knee. We're going to lean backwards here. We get a nice stretch here of our uh, right hip, our front thigh. Inhale, come up 
and E. You have to come up and switch your legs. You're gonna lean backwards. Come up and we're going to lean forward. And come to Taylor's position. We're gonna finish today's class with a short meditation. Get down on your sitting bones, straighten up your back, close your eyes and focus on the area between your eyebrows, the third eye looking inwards. Let your third eye lead you to the area around your heart. In this area, you find an inner room where you're gonna spend some time just for yourself. There is nothing that has been and nothing that will come. It's only you in this area. so much for today remember to go up and give i love you guys and i'll see you tomorrow bye